Welcome to the 8085 VT100 Invaders game. Well, kind of, of game. Um, it's running on a Minimax 8085. That's a board. The pre previous owner has put it on a yeah on wood. Here you have the AD eighty five. That's a three megahertz version. You have the RAM, you have the ROM, and here is a yeah, transmitter receiver for the serial port. Here you have the expansion bus of the CPU, and here. You have the serial port of the CPU. The AD85 has a serial port. And on this side, there's a reset button, there's a power plug, and this is a 9 pin serial port, which I will connect to the computer. As terminal program, I'm using the PuTTY. And in my case, the serial port is COM4. Um, enable blinking text. And uh, changing the font size up to 16. And the translation, I'm using the 8859-1. Serial port. Ports, turning off the flow control, the speed is uh, okay, um, and open the terminal. There we go. Uh, let me fire up the board. ROM is loaded, checking the commands, um, using L for loading the program into memory. L at address 8000, copying the hex code and pasting it. Program is loaded, checking the memory address, or better, disassemble. fine. Uh, let me just change to the base address. The base address is um, the starting address. In this case, um, yeah, it's um, the ROM. The Intel, the Intel 8085 starts at address 0. But we will launch now my program at address 8000. Oh, uh, it's uh, far too fast. Uh, yeah. Um, I've just finished finding a stupid bug and forgot to change back uh, some values. I was really struggling with this one. I actually misspelled a label which also exists and I didn't get it until I debugged it with several breakpoints. Yeah, but before I was rewriting some code and wondering why it didn't work. So let me put uh, those values back. Here's the source code. That was the this one. MS counter. Uh, well, let me change it on the fly here. Here's a listing. MS counter. And uh, where is it in the code? Uh, here. At address 82C, 82C, yep, change it, 82C, and putting a thou thousand, what's a thousand in, in hex? Let me open the calculator. Here we go. Uh, one thousand. Uh, hex 3 E8. It's uh, E8 slow byte before high byte. E8 0, 3. Uh, yeah. 
and the next one. MS counter. Actually, two places. Eight two two four. Eight two two four. And E eight zero three and um yeah MS counter and the other one was a W counter. Here we go. Well, let's say in its settings, that's fine. This one is more important. Um, 8365. 8365. And uh, put value 32, should be fine. Let's give it a try. Yeah, looks good. Well, there's still some fine tuning to do, but at least it's running. Let me get the ship. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, yeah, missed it. Yeah. yeah, it's still still too fast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there are far too many aliens. Um, Okay, and I haven't implemented um, lives. I mean, there's only one life. There are no levels. Well, well I don't think I will add them. Uh, I wanted to show you one thing. It's uh, how the, the cursor runs around. The cursor actually is hidden. And um, well, let me let me find. Um, Let's go here. Let me find here on the code. Um, BT1. Uh, where's the thing? Ah, yeah, is it? The L. The syntax here. Um, yeah. That's the escape sequence for hiding. The cursor 25L is hiding the cursor and 25H is showing the cursor. Okay, 8807. Mm, um, 13 and 6c and uh, h is h is what is h uh, uh, here it is h um, zero line feed carriage return six eight it's six eight six eight and now normally we can see the cursor running around. <laughs> it's uh, running like crazy. Yeah, it has, it has to redraw every uh, character. There's no uh, video memory. You have to, to send every uh, movement and um, you have to keep track of every character on the VT100 terminal screen. And yeah, it's double work. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.